Hey everybody, today I want to talk about some issues with flight simulators. And when I say issues, I don't necessarily mean the sims themselves, I mean the community. And when I mean the community, I mean the overwhelming level of toxicity and egotism that exists within the community of flight simulators. And this goes for Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, DCS, X-Plane, pretty much any sim that you can imagine. And uh, I'm not really bringing this up because I got particularly butthurt and ass bled because somebody said mean words. But I have noticed this as, a, as an issue in my 20 some odd years of playing flight simulators. And uh, it's been brought up to me by somebody else here recently, so I just thought I would address it. And what I mean by egotism and toxicity is simply this, a really good example, that you won't have to go very far here on YouTube to uh, look at a flight sim video, just scroll down the comments, and there will be people just absolutely shitting on the guy for no fucking reason. And why? Just absolutely why? It's somebody that's just trying to enjoy the game, have a good time, unwind, you know, but just want to show themselves having fun or like maybe I did something, but they can't do that because there's always some asshole that's going to point out like what they did wrong or they didn't use the radio right or they didn't follow a fucking procedure or some shit. And it's always this ass clown motherfucker that for whatever reason thinks that, that he is God's gift to the cockpit and, uh, you know, just the end all be all of the flight simulator world. And I got to tell you, that shit doesn't fly. I'll give you a wake-up call. You rock up to a uh, to any flight school, and you start going on at the mouth to your instructor about, I've got so much, you know, thousands of hours in Microsoft Flight Sim, so on and so forth. And the only thing that's going through his head is how many fucking problems and bad habits you picked up that he's going to have to break. That's what he hears. So... You can spend all the time that you want flying around in PMDG, punching in uh, shit in the FMC, and screwing around with your landings and doing IFR procedures and all this kind of stuff. Fine. But if you go and, you know, I want to pound in landings at Ryanair, and you, you know, I've got flight sim experience, they're going to tell you to fucking piss off. And the reality of it is that there are some assholes out there who really believe that they could climb in the cockpit of one of these aircraft and just go to work. Shit doesn't fucking work that way. It, it really doesn't work that way. Aircraft are very nuanced. You climb into a real airplane, a helicopter, whatever, there's there's vibrations. You can feel uh, the wind pushing on the controls. There's sudden wind gusts. You, you can just feel yourself moving around in different ways that cannot be replicated in any motion simulator or flight sim. I don't give a shit what anybody says. So, and again, the reality of it is all these, quote, systems and stuff that people want to play around with, those are just scripts that somebody wrote. And don't get me wrong, that's exactly what an FMC is. It's a, it's a program that somebody wrote that whenever you enter this information, then it's going to give you this result. Understood. But it's not the same. So, I, I really don't get it. I mean, you can... Uh, uh, a friend of mine sent me a, a video of somebody just recording themselves taking off. And the, to, uh, the top two comments are, you didn't even stay on the center line, cringe. Uh, some other asshole said something about, uh, go and take some real flight lessons, dumbass. Why? Like, fucking why? So, you know, this is the kind of shit that I would expect in Call of Duty. But... You know, not really flight sims. I understand that this stuff is kind of difficult and you need a level of mental acuity, I guess to say, to absorb this kind of information. But, you know, that doesn't make you better than anybody else. That doesn't make you above anybody. That doesn't make you smarter or more important. And this fucking attitude that you're somehow better and the gatekeeping about it's a fucking skill issue and somebody asks for, you know, ask a simple question or... Uh, they get a meme in response or a LOL 
to a to a legitimate and simple question, you know, and it's like, are are people afraid that if they divulge some information or some shit that they're going to cheat themselves out of a future career prospect? I mean, wh what is it? Are you afraid that is your ego so fragile that you're afraid that somebody's going to learn something that that you don't fucking know? Rather than explain something to somebody, it, I, I don't get it. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And uh, didn't really want to turn it into a rant. But at the same time, I just wanted to address some of these issues. Because this is bullshit. And it's been going on in my 20 some odd years of flight sim. And I have no idea where it's coming from. But I will just end this by saying that kind of shit is, uh, is cancer to our community drives people away it makes people not want to do it it makes this shit not fun and in my opinion it needs to fucking stop so anyway with that have a nice day